So we are in line 12. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us to rich fulfillment. Now, what is he saying here in, in, in explaining this? Okay, we started this thing in line 8 that says, Oh, bless our God, you peoples, you and make the voice of his praise to be heard who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved for you. Oh God have proved us. And remember that proof is to show something to be true. And so in order for us to be true and to have that truthfulness, we have to go through some things to prove our truthfulness. <laughs> and if we don't go through anything to prove our truthfulness, then people are not going to take us uh, uh, lightly. Or they're going to take us lightly. They're going to take us for granted. And so, so we have to go through things to be able to prove that we are who we say we are. If you're saying you're a Christ follower, all right, well, when you get refined in that fire, are you still going to be a Christ follower? People gonna know you still a Christ follower, even when you been when we when you going through something. Are people gonna know you a Christ follower still, when you when 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 God Himself had brought you into the net, and have laid affliction on our backs. People still gonna know you a Christ follower when 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 God has caused men to ride over our heads, and and by us going through the fire and the water. But look how he uses antithetic parallelism where it says, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment, to abundance fulfillment. And it gives us a couple of reference scriptures in Isaiah 51, 23. That says, but I will put it, put it into the hand of those who afflict you, who have said to you, lie down that we may walk over you. And you have laid your body like the ground and as a street for those who walk over. So like your soul. And so it also sends us to Isaiah 43, 2. Isaiah 43, 2. That says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. You know, this, this scripture was coming. And through the rivers, they should not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you should not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. And it's not. Remember the, the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. So yes, just because we're going through the fire and just because we are in the waters, neither one of them will consume us because God is with us. And he's bringing us through these situations to prove us that we are who we say we are Christ followers and God is going to bring us out in rich or abundant fulfillment because he's going to that's fulfilling his purpose and his plan in our lives line 13 I will go into your house with burnt offerings I will pay you my vows which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of fat animals with a sweet aroma of rams. I will offer bulls with goats. Selah. All right, so he say Lord right there. So we'll, we'll elaborate uh, starting from there. So in line 13, I will go into your house with burnt offerings. And so it gives us a couple of reference scriptures uh, in Psalm. So we're going to camp out in Psalm for these reference scriptures. Psalm 100, line 4, that says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. All right. And then also to one, Psalm 116, line 14. Psalm 116, line 14. That says, I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. All right, so, 
So, um, and then also 14 and then 17 through 19. What that was? 16 and then 14 and then 17 through 19. That says, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people in the course of the Lord's house in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. And so he's saying this to say that I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows. I'll pay you my, my promises, the things that I say that I'm going to do, Lord God. I'm going to do those things. All right. And so uh, let's pause here and we'll pick it up in line 14. 